Ladies and gentlemen, using a wireframe kit from Figma is probably one of the easiest things to use and it'll probably speed up your productivity a heck of a lot. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and how you can take advantage of it. So without further ado, let's climb straight in. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into figma.com forward slash community and we're going to get our wireframe kits from here so on the top there is a search bar and here you can just type in wireframe kit and it'll give you some results now there are tons so you can really go through and select the one that's going to suit your needs best and once you're done when you click on it just for example, you've clicked on this, you can click on open in Figma, okay? You can have a look at the properties over here, but once you open it in Figma, you can actually see what it looks like and what it has. So it is a two page. So this over here on the left-hand side, page one, page two, and the high fidelity, that is all of the assets within that wire kit, okay? So let's just zoom out a bit. You can see that there's quite a bit. So what you're essentially going to be doing is copying from here onto your own page. Now, I've created a page called Wireframes for App Development. And what I've put here is just a phone screen so that I can see what my app screen is going to look like. Okay, so here it is. And we're going to go over to, let's say, page one, for example. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. Within this wireframing kit, you can see that there's a lot of different pages okay now you need to create obviously each one of these pages individually but let's just say for example we want to create a sign in page now this is the sign in page over here let us say for example we want to change a certain element within here okay so what we can do is we can for example take this let's right click on it and say copy let's go back to our page and let us right click and say paste here all right now this element over here has been pasted and you can do this with the rest of the elements within the wireframe kit so you can customize it to look like what you want to look like so there is an easier way of doing it and it's simply by clicking down and dragging over the entire screen okay and you're going to right click and you're going to copy and you can throw it in now to your page so first of all, I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say paste here. Now this whole thing has moved in here. Let's align it. And I think that looks good. And now let's right click on it and say send to back. And that's now what it looks like. So what we can do is we can click on it. And if you double click on any element, you'll be able to remove it simply by using the backspace key. You can see here that all of these elements you're able to fully customize. So let's say, for example, I'm double clicking on a certain element. It's opened that group and I'm double clicking again. And now you can see over here, I have selected that specific element. And on the left hand side, you can see that it's selected here. And if you're going through all of this, it's actually highlighting it in over here. So now you can go ahead and you can change all of the elements here and use this wireframe kit and customize your own designs, uh, whether you're building an app or whatever the case may be, be it a website. You can now use all of this straight from copying and pasting and you can use it in your own designs right over here and you still have full control to customize.